you're running for county executive in Suffolk County. Um, basically, why why are you looking to become the county executive here in Suffolk? Well, this is a very important county. It's the largest in the state of New York outside of New York City. It's even larger than a couple of the boroughs in New York City. So it's a very important county, and I grew up here. I'm raising my two daughters here, and I'm very concerned about the future uh, of our county. We've got a number of challenges that we're facing. Uh, we've got a financial crisis in this county that I think is is certainly the result of, of the policies we've seen uh, implemented over the last eight years. Uh, we still have young people leaving our county at record rates, uh, greater than any other region uh, in the country. We're not creating enough high-paying jobs. So we have a lot of challenges that will affect the, the future long-term prosperity of uh, Suffolk County. And I think uh, with my experience, my record as uh, Babylon Town Supervisor for 10 years, uh, being a chief executive and, and addressing a lot of these issues, then I'm in a good position to uh, to make some of the the changes that we need uh, to put us on the right path in Suffolk County. So what would be your first goal to accomplish as county executive? Well, I think the first goal of any new county executive is going to have to be dealing with the financial crisis that we have in this county. We, we've seen in the last eight years a doubling of the county's debt. Uh, we have uh, approximately $180 million structural deficit uh, in this county. So, you know, we've got some real financial problems uh, that we have to deal with uh, as a county. And, you know, basically, <clears throat> you know, all of the county's assets that could possibly be utilized to deal with a budget crisis have been sold off or used in one-shot revenue uh, budget gimmicks over the last eight years. So those aren't available now to deal really with any future budget crises. So uh, first and foremost, it's, it's making sure that the county's finances are on a firm footing. So what would be your first thing that you do in terms to try to fix that, that problem with the budget? Would you look to cut spending, raise taxes? What, what's, what's your goal? My policy has been you always go to the taxpayer last. Um, you do everything you can to make government more efficient and more effective, more productive. You know, we've reduced the size of government in Babylon uh, by more than 47% uh, since I joined the town. And that's a remarkable number. It's almost half the government in terms of full-time employees has been, been reduced. And we're not doing less today. We're doing more. And the reason we've been able to do that, by the way, at the same time I've cut debt in Babylon every year I've been in office while county debt has, has doubled over the same period of time. So we've been able to do that because we've really applied a business approach to government. I know people say that a lot, but it, it's in our case absolutely true that we have tried to figure out, like the private sector does, within each of our agencies and divisions in the government, how to become more productive uh, and figure out how to be more innovative so that we can do more with less. So the first thing I would do is basically get into each of the agencies, uh, figure out what they do, how they do it, and start thinking of innovative ways that we can deliver those services for less. All right now, to switch gears a little bit, uh, Steve Levy, <coughs> about a week or two ago, now he's yes. not running for re-election. Yes. Now, <coughs> initially, what's your reaction to his decision to not run again? Well, it was a shock. You know, um, number one, Steve's been an elected official for 25 uh, years. Uh, you know, he's done some good things over those years in, in terms of public service. So I was shocked to to see it happen and, uh, you know, to see his political career end in that way. Um, you know, you never like to see something like that happen. And it's, it's certainly never good for our democracy when it happens. Um, you know, but, I, you know, I'm confident that you know, we're going to be able to recover from this as a county and move on and, and address the challenges that we face. Now, the main reason why he chose not to seek re-election was because of investigation or a probe that the DA's office was doing. Um, and, you know, I was talking to Republicans, you know, just get their <coughs> side of the story, and they were saying that it was a problem when Levy was a Democrat. You know, when he was a Democrat doing all the fundraising there, but when he was a Republican, they have any problems. What would you say to the Republicans, you know, saying, well, the only, the, the only way that he did that was when he was a Democrat. Well, I've never seen a party that has uh, uh, been so quick to embrace somebody as one of their own as a Republican, and now in the last week been so quick to uh, claim that he was not one of them. Um, I think people see through stuff like that, uh, 
and the reality is it's not a partisan issue. Uh, when something bad in government happens, when there's a betrayal of the public trust, it's, it's never a good thing. So do you think this situation is just limited to Levy himself and his campaign uh, fundraising, or do you think it might be a broader issue, whether it be just a Democrat thing or just you know, someone on both sides? Well, I think that uh, we don't know all the details of the case. Uh, you know, I, I think we're going to see over time probably those things come out. But largely I would say that this has to do with Steve Levy. Okay. And just one final question about this topic. The fact that we don't really know much about the case, you know, that was a deal that, you know, essentially Levy decides not to run, give up his campaign funds, and basically, you know, no prosecution. Right. What's your take on that? Well, I think that, uh, you know, until we know all the facts, it would be difficult to say whether it, it makes sense or doesn't make sense. So, you know, I would reserve judgment on that, and uh, I, I think over time we'll, we'll learn more and understand fully what happened here. So now taking a look at the upcoming election, the Republicans, they don't really have anyone yet. You know, they have a whole bunch of people that could be running. Who do you think you'll be up against um, when uh, Election Day comes around? Well, there's a lot of great potential candidates on the Republican side. Uh, they have a lot of talent. I know Angie Carpenter, uh, county treasurer, and uh, there are other names that are being um, um, considered uh, and people who are thinking about uh, entering the race and and my job my focus really is to make sure that uh, you know we are doing what we need to do to get our message out and that's why I'm on this countywide listening tour right now uh, talking to residents in communities throughout Suffolk County to understand what their concerns are and you know that's what I'm going to do throughout um, the campaign it's what I've always done as town supervisor really try to listen to people and bring them together so I'll let the Republicans take care of who uh, the, the the challenge will be on that side, and, and I'm going to keep focusing on what we need to do to get our, our message out. So, speaking of your message, <clears throat> for someone who's not a resident of the town of Babylon, how what would you tell them that you will do as county executive that you know maybe people in Babylon do know, but the rest of the county may not know? Sure. I will make government efficient and effective. At a time when people have started to believe that government doesn't work anymore. We have proven in Babylon that government can work. And uh, we've done it in a way that has reduced costs. I delivered a 5% tax cut for residents in 2011. Again, we've reduced the size of government and reduced debt. So uh, government can work, that's number one. Number two is we've got to make the right investments in our community. We're going to protect our quality of life and ensure long-term economic prosperity. That is a very big goal of mine, focusing on the long term. And we have to make the right investments. To me, those investments are uh, in our infrastructure, in our parks. We've rebuilt our entire park system. I believe that they're critical to our quality of life uh, and in creating jobs. Uh, we've done a number of uh, incentive programs that have resulted in us saving or attracting thousands of jobs. Uh, to the town of Babylon. So those are, those are the very important things that I think I would focus on and, and you know, again, people don't have to uh, take my word for it. They can just look at my record in Babylon and see that's what I've done here. That's what uh, I would do with the county. What would you say the state of the county, because it's the state of the county, he was like, things are going great right now. Yes. You, what, what do you see in his statement that makes that true? Well, if you watch the state of the county, you would uh, assume that everything was great. And uh, unfortunately, we now know in more ways than one, we've been misled in, in this county. Um, we have a lot of problems and we have a financial crisis that we have to deal with. Uh, but, uh, you know, one of the things that I think is important that the county has done uh, is investing in downtowns. Uh, we've done a lot of downtown revitalization work from the town of Babylon. Um, and we work together to, uh, with the county executive and the county legislature to have sewer connection fees uh, waived for development within the Wine Ranch downtown, which is Wine Ranch is an economically distressed community that we've been working on revitalization there for the last uh, nine years now and are, are on the verge of doing something really important there. And the town, as part of the revitalization, is funding a sewer line into the downtown. Uh, so that was a, a very good collaborative effort, and I would do even more of those things. You know, this is an issue we brought to the county, and the legislature approved it uh, unanimously. Uh, but that is something I would uh, be focused on as, uh, as county executive.